the book Dragon Slayer. Oh. After a long day of spell making and potion brewing, mm, there's nothing like a nice refreshing mud there. <laughs> Mm, just start dipping my feet in it first and then I'll work myself in. That's <laughs> mm. mm. odd. Alright, sugar. You can come out now. I can smell you. No need to be like that, sugar. I don't bite. Not that hard, anyway. Mm, there you are. My, my. It's a human. Now, what's a human like you doing out here in the swamp at this time of noon? Hmm? Oh, I'm not saying that because it's dangerous. It's just... Surprising. That's all. Oh, but where are my manners? The name's Wilda. The folks round this neck of the swamp call me Mama Wilda. It's nice to meet you. Tell me, what do they call you, human? Hmm. I see. Well, now, that's a very fit name. It suits you. I like it. Mm. Oh, don't mind. The wildcats, they just like sharpening their claws in the tree branches. And sometimes they play fight around. They mean no harm. And they know not to cause trouble here in my neck of the swamp. Was there? Well... Uh, old creaking trees. Well, I suppose you could say that I'm the queen of this particular swamp. And as such, oh dear. Oh, bye. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> oh. Sorry about that, sugar. Your, your scent's particularly new to me, and sometimes. When I smell something new, well, I sneeze. Oh, don't take it to heart. Anyway, back to the subject at hand. What brings a human like you out here to my neck of the swamp? Don't worry, I won't judge you. You can tell old Mama Wilda. You can tell me anything. After all, I like meeting new people. Especially wanderers like you. So what brings you to my neck of the swamp? Uh, I see. So, you needed a potion. And your friend told you to come find me. Well, I must say they have a good sense. And in their head, it's on their shoulders. If they told you to find me, I am one of the best in the potion making business, or so they say. Tell you what, my little houseboat ain't too far from here. Follow me to it, and I can fix you up a little something something. So tell me, sweet thing. What you need this potion for? What sort of spells am I brewing for you? Ah. Uh, mm, down on your luck? Mm, that figures. You just moved here. That explains it. Oh, new bloods often toddle around like little chickadees. Before they finally find their footing. There ain't nothing wrong with it. Hell, I wasn't always the swamp queen you see before you. I had my own growing pains, as it were. But 
can't be helped. After all, everyone's got to go through growing pains. It's how we grow and become the better versions of ourselves. <laughs> but I learned potion making from a very young age. From my mama and my grandmama and all my other aunts and sisters. Yes, though you wouldn't believe it looking at me, I'm actually the seventh born from a clutch of 23. Yep, well, seven is a lucky number, even if you're an alligator like me. Hmm? Oh yes, I, I was born and bred in this swamp. It's my home sweet home, though I've visited your human villages on occasion to sell my wares. Hmm. Oh, some people are frightened of me, but I'm, I wouldn't hurt a fly. Hmm. Now, if you were a crawdad, on the other hand, hmm. some deep fried crawdad, some pumpkin soup. A nice thing of beer. Mm. Of course, I know how to make those. I'm also a really good cook. Anyway, here we are. Follow me inside, and I'll I'll see what I can do about getting you a little luck spell whipped up. All right. All right. Sweet little thing. Oh. Here we are. Make yourself at home, sugar. Now let's see. Lucky for you, I happen to make more than one type of potion. You know, a little stock in case someone comes and doesn't want to wait too long for their potion. So, I made a fresh batch of luck potions, which is what you you need. Oh, uh, don't worry. You just have to take a shot glass full every morning before you start your day, and it'll last you through the entire day. And after a little bit, you know, methodically, things should be getting better for you. Let's see, where did I put it? Oh, sakes. Well, yes. Yes, I know my my humble abode is a little disorganized, but I know where everything is. Most of it anyway. <laughs> well, that and I did have some guests over the other day. I had my sisters over for tea. I think you'd like my sisters. They're sweet, very charming young things. In fact, one of my nieces is looking to get married. Yes, I'm so excited for when she finally does get married. And then I can be an aunt twice over. <laughs> or is it 12 times over? I forget. Well, we alligator folk tend to have big families and... <clears throat> Ugh, damn it. <sighs> oh, nothing, sugar. It's just that... Ugh, can you hear that buzz and crackling sound? That's the sound of someone using magic. Yes. I have, um... Well, let's just say I have a friend. A dear old friend of mine who happens to be a... Wild magic user. Mm. Oh, you get used to the sound of magic around here, but after a while, you know, it kind of grates. On ya, but let's see. Ugh, back to finding you that love potion. Sorry to keep you wet. Make yourself at home. Um, I got some liqueurs in the uh, in the coffer next to your feet. I got some jam and some bread and some melons by the fireplace. Help yourself to whatever you like, sugar, and I should be able to find the. Uh, Look, potion in a little bit, at least. Oh no, where did I put it, man? Sakes, my goodness. Hmm? Ah, oh, oh yes. Yes, I live alone, I'm a, 
I have no uh, husband or uh, partner to help keep things in shape, though. I'm managing all right by myself, though it is a little lonely. Anyway, sit tight, sugar, and I'll be right back with that luck potion. All right? All right. And where did I put it? Here we are. There we are. I told you I'd find it eventually. I'm sorry it took so long, sugar. Hmm? Always still fresh. Sometimes it just gets a little murky. There we go. Just shake up the crystals. Then add a little spritz of mist. Mint mist, to be precise. And one, two, three, for good luck. And there you have it, sugar. One luck potion guaranteed to last you. Well, of course it's in a small bottle, sugar. My potions tend to be pretty potent and you don't need that much. That's why I said only a shot glass, barely full. Just about mm, a spoonful in a shot glass, and that'll do the trick. Now then, there's just a matter of payment. After all, you can't get something for free. Hmm? <laughs> oh, you really are silly, fang, aren't you? You're sweet, but you're silly. No, no, no. I ain't gonna make you sign a contract or anything. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not gonna cost you your soul. What'd you think? Oh, my goodness, you sweet little thing. No, 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 no. I don't charge body parts or souls. I don't deal in that sort of magic or spells. No, no, no. That, that's bad. That's black magic. I, I, I never touch this stuff. Anyway, no, 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 no. You don't need to pay me anything like that. Um, tell you what. I think for this potion, and since it's been interesting getting to know you, sugar, you can pay me with that bit of string around your wrist. Yes, that, that'll be enough. I'm not kidding. You'd be surprised what use a string like that could have to someone like me. After all, I am very well learned in magic. Oh, don't worry, I won't cast any spells on you or nothing. But, if you really don't think that little bit of string is enough to pay me, then how about... You come and visit me every now and then for tea. Yes. Frankly, it's been lonely and I told you I'm single. I don't have anybody. It's just me, myself, and I in my little old boathouse here. And it does get lonely, so come on up and see me sometime. We'll have tea. We'll read. I can show you around the, the swamp cities around here. Very beautiful. we got lots of cuisine and lots of fun around here, especially at night time. So what do you say? The bit of string and the occasional visit? Alright, shake my hand on it. Come on, dear. Won't you shake a poor woman's hand? Alright. Pleasure doing business with you, sugar. Here. Follow me and I'll lead you back to the, uh, to the human village. Oh, no trouble at all, sugar. I gots to go buy some things from there anyway. Follow me, alright?